What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Simply Love, and I'm back in the house with another reading for the collective. How you all doing? I hope you're having a a good weekend. Hope you had a good weekend, okay? And I hope that you're having a good day, because I am. I just got some new decks. I said I wasn't going to get no more decks, didn't I? Didn't I say that? I just can't, I can't help myself. I'm going to have to just, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> So I'm in my backyard here. I, I was go, I was going to I set it up here to do it on top of my um where my steps are like a little little patio type thing, and they're working on that to help. There's a couple of bricks that were well, not bricks, but the down at the uh, the floor part kind of came loose, and they also working on putting um air conditioning in my home. So. I figured I'll stay out of everybody's way and just come all the way over here by where my uh, driveway is. Okay, so excuse me. I was going to set it up to where you can see the wooded area I got back here, but uh, where I'm sitting at right now, it, it, I don't know. I just don't trust it. I seen a snake movie last night, and I don't want to get If I want to see if a snake running up on me, not with my back turned. All right, not with my back turned. I feel safer in this direction where I can see everything coming from out of them damn woods over there. Okay, how about that? Sorry about that, but if I was up there on where they working on my thing, I would do it. But <laughs> I keep my eyes on what's going on in these woods, being up so close up to them. <laughs> All right, collective. <laughs> Sorry for the jibber jabber, but let's go. Let's see what the uh, the main energies are going to be coming out here in your reading. It may not have nothing to do with the reading either. You know, with the main energy, just could be talking about some pe some things. Okay, uh, collective. Remember, um, y'all know how I am. Like uh, I told you, I can be all four of the queens in the deck. You know, which equals the empress. I mean, embody the energy. I am not, and I'm not that name. I just can embody those energies. Okay, the queen of swords, the queen of wands, the queen of cups, queen of coins. And uh, and I can uh, get the energies, and the energies will affect me. That well, that's what empaths do. They get around people, and they can feel people out, okay? And their energy, and that's what I do. When the energies come up the card, and I can, I can turn it. Whatever energy energy comes in, I can turn into that, okay? And not saying it uh, uh, possesses me or anything. It's just the energies around me, and I be feeling it. So that's how I conduct myself. So you hear a lot of cussing and stuff like that when I get when I get to a part where, where if there's a part where it's like unacceptable how people act and all that i'll probably get a little you know cussy and stuff like that so if you can and not tell the truth about situations so and i'm very direct about it so if you can't handle that please exit the video right now before i get started you know fair warning this is entertainment purposes only on these youtube videos please don't take these these uh readings and you know take it to heart and everything like that i mean like if the shoe fit fucking wear it but if you know it's just general readings if you ain't had a personal reading of your own then fuck it just look at it for entertainment purposes only don't be taking this stuff and you know applying it to your life and all that shit and ain't even a personal reading you get a personal reading they read your energies not everybody's in the freaking world okay please please know that okay sorry I can't see them numbers that good, so I can't tell y'all the numbers. Okay, Holy Spirit ancestors, I'm here to listen. What's the general, what's the energies? What's the energies looking like for the collective right now? What's going on? Can you give me a, I'm going to be using my deck here, Love and Romance Answer Oracle. Thank you all you guys that's been purchasing on my SD site. I really appreciate your, your, your support. I really do. And uh, that's where you can find these as well. And all my decks are on SD.com. The link will be below. You just click on it. It'll take you right to my store. Okay. Okay. So, ooh, blocked. Some of y'all, this might not have to do nothing with the tarot, but it could. This is just the uh, opening um, energies. Okay. So, some of you may have somebody blocked. Somebody may have you blocked now. You can't get to them. They can't get to you. Someone shut shut you out here for some of you you know for some of you you might have shut somebody out okay somebody's not speaking they're being blocked somebody can't reach somebody wants to reach out but they're blocked they can't so some of you may have somebody on block uh lockdown y'all get the comments section. you're welcome to you know put your comments in let me know what's going on tell me your whole story <laughs> whatever y'all be doing a lot of the times okay don't forget to enter in the contest let's listen to below too on how you need to do it Somebody's on social media uh, spying on somebody here. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Somebody might be at their at their desk all day just watching you collect this because you got them blocked here. Okay, you got them blocked. They can't reach out to you. All they can do is see you on social media, and that's about it. They can look, but they can't fucking touch. How about that? How about that? And they pissed off too. Look, they pissed off. What the fuck? What they pissed off at you because you got them blocked here? <laughs> they don't like that. They don't like you blocking them, so they just stalk you all fucking day long, okay? And cuss at you and call you all kind of names. Let me tell you something. Nothing, nothing, nothing evil formed against me or us collective shall prosper. Always say that shit. I say it when I wake up in the morning because I can feel sometimes some energy trying to attack me. I'll be like, what? Fuck it. You know, I ain't paranoid. I ain't know. I know when something happened because look, empaths know shit. Okay. So, you know, we know what to do. All right. We ain't trying to hurt nobody. We will not hurt nobody. We will leave that up to our ancestors and spirit guys. They do a damn good job of it anyway. So that's what we do. All we do is say, Hey, this ain't just no forms against me. Good shall prosper. Somebody's mad at you. Somebody mad at y'all collector because you got them uh, blocked. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to see them. You know, I'm hearing um, spirits say they got too many inconsistencies. Or for some of you, is this person like to play games like a little kid and shit. Like, you know, they're going to get the last laugh. Or, you know, because I did a reading like that. Y'all go back and see it. Who gets the last, last laugh collective? You're going to like that video too. I, just, I forgot. I think I did it last week. But they play kitty. They think they're getting somewhere playing this kitty. They, remember, we're up... You know, we're in the age of judgment now. Everybody's being judged, so <laughs> that's probably what Spirit probably got that ass blocked. It probably ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Spirit got this person blocked off, and they got a nerve to be mad at you. Ain't that a motherfucker? Like I said, <laughs> see, Queen of Wands get ready to come. I love the Queen of Wands. I like her because she's right direct to the point. A little bit of cussing, a little bit of, you know, hype and seem like she mad and all that. Well, that's what the fucking Queen of Wands is for. If you're going to be an empress, you're going to have to have somebody that in your ass too to keep it moving in this world. Because every, every, everything ain't smiles and peaches and shit. Because you got people out here that's ready to, you know, to take you under because they think you're so damn nice. So, you know, there's a time for everything. That's why all four queens is in the freaking deck. And what does that equal up to? The empress. The empress. The empathic woman. All right? Or, yeah, the em empress. Or if it's a male, be the emperor. Okay? For some of you, the answer is yes. And somebody really loves you. Okay? For some of you out there. So, you know. This energy I'm picking up, there's some person that you blocked off collectively. You don't talk to them no more. They don't, nothing. You do, They can't get, contact you, so they watch you on your social media. Okay? And they cuss you out, probably send you, you know, evil eye and all that type of shit at you. Like, they can't stand you. But, and it's probably because you found somebody that loves you for who you are. You finally found somebody who loves you and this person, whoever it is stalking you, looking, they can't stand you. They call you, they mad because they, they not able to manipulate, manipulate you and use your kindness for your weakens anymore. Yeah, you and this person that, that this person telling you they love you. Yeah, y'all in mad communication. You two talk. You two, y'all two talk, okay? Whoever this new person is that came in, y'all talk. But this other person, y'all don't fucking talk. You got them blocked. The ex, I feel like it is. You got them blocked. See? See two different energies here? One, you got uh, you got blocked, and they mad at you, and they send you evil. I, like I said, say that little saying to, you know, nothing evil shall be... Uh, shall come on me re 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 say return a descender with no ill tend upon me i'll leave that up to my ancestors on what kind of damage they think they're going to do to a bitch for sending this shit that's what y'all do no evil shall prosper so it is said so it is done all right No forms of evil shall prosper. Now, let's get into your uh, tarot. It may not have anything to do with what we just said. Overall, it may. We have to see what spirit says. So, I'm going to break in my new deck for y'all today. Holy Spirit, ancestors, most high, what are the answers or what is the messages you have for our beautiful, beautiful collective today? I got these beautiful cards called the Truth Seeker. They got gold on them and stuff like that. These are nice. I think this is the second edition. No, I don't know. It may be the first edition. It might be the second edition because they got a, a, a first and a second edition. True Seekers Tarot. The True Seeker Tarot is what it's called. They're beautiful, beautiful. The only thing I don't like about them is the 
the low ball cards they don't have no pictures on them they just got the they got pictures on them but it's not people or anything they just sit you know y'all see what i'm talking about i don't like that part of it but i do love the the court cards and the majors okay i'm going to shuffle these really really good y'all because i just got them i did already sage my stuff already sage my stuff y'all let me break them in real good so sorry about that Hang in there. The messages are coming. When they come, they're going to come, okay? Holy Spirit ancestors, what are the messages you have for the collective today? What is the messages? And I got all kind of bugs out here, so if y'all see me... I'm trying to hold this thing where it won't move. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? For, thank you. What are for the collective today? Some, what's the, what's the some rising? I keep doing that. What's the messages we have for today for the collective? Whether it's the divine feminine, the divine, divine masculine, the karmic, all that shit. Let's see what's going on here. We need to catch up because let me just. What are the messages, Spirit? Can you please give me the messages you want me to relay for the collective today? I hope I don't knock my tripod over and get me little bugs out of here. Y'all done? Okay. All right. All right, let's see what we got so far. This one's at the bottom of this deck. Ooh, we got this King of Swords here. King of Swords. This will be King or Queen. Remember, we just dealing with energies when we're doing uh, general readings on YouTube. We're not, you can be talking about, though, it's not specific because it's just general, okay? Y'all remember that. It may sound familiar to some of y'all. That's cool. But if it don't, don't even worry about it, all right? So the King of Swords here is the Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra's energy. This King of Swords is somebody who is very smart and intelligent. This is somebody who's got their shit together. This is somebody who who communicates very, very well, and they understand a lot of things very well, too. Somebody could be, um, okay, birdie, birdie. Somebody could be, um, <laughs> um, hiring a, uh, a prosecutor, somebody in the law, somebody could be dealing with the justice system, because a lot of times the King of Swords is like a judge, like, could be, could be a, a judge, could be a lawyer, could be an attorney, could be a prosecutor, okay? So, just throwing that in there for some of you. Just at the bottom of the deck. And it's also, they find out the truth about every damn thing. Like I said, this person right here, they don't play checkers. They play motherfucking chess. So you better be careful if y'all deal with, or somebody, you guys could be the king of swords or queen of swords or whatever. But somebody need to watch how they treat you if they treating you bad or whatever's going on here. We got the seven of cups where somebody, you know, it's kind of like... This is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is what? Your emotions. Dealing with your emotions. De de you know, de dealing with the, the matters of the heart. So with the, somebody is feeling like, you know, very emotional. Somebody could have a drinking problem. But, you know, drinking a lot of times. I call the cups out when it gets like seven and, and higher. That It could be a drinking problem. But it just could be. Not necessarily for some. It also means somebody could be confused. Have a lot of options. Things that they have to choose from here with this seven of cups it also could be somebody's like in an illusion regarding a situation being we talking about love somebody could be all up in their emotions regarding a love situation okay and they like they're just fantasizing having a you know daydreaming you know about all these illusions you know or, or you know too many options somebody could have a lot of options going on here here's the four of cups see how they kind of like the the, the the just the low ball cards they all look alike you know what i'm saying they just like that's what I don't like about these. Other than that, I love that they're beautiful as hell with the gold trimming and the gold. See the gold in them and stuff. I like that, but all the, they, except the court cards and the, um, the majors, but the low ballers all look alike to me. And they do, they are. Okay, so again, we got the Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. See these cup cards coming up here again. It could be somebody possibly like dreaming, you know, drinking, and they kind of like daydream a lot or something like that. Or they're 
it is all up in the clouds. But the Four of Cups is talking about somebody being like a missed opportunity. Somebody could be um, ignoring a certain person. We've seen that in the beginning where somebody's like shut some block somebody off. This is somebody ignoring somebody, you know, could be given an offer and they're just like, now nah, think, you know, I'm not looking at it. Somebody's just not looking at an opportunity right now. And it's because of an ending. There, somebody put an ending to something with the death card. So this is a major uh, arcana card. So this is the card of Scorpio. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio so far. So somebody, yeah, put an ending to something with the death card. It's the end, you know. And somebody could be going through a major transformation as well. Because somebody's just not happy in a situation here. Somebody is like weighing their options out. Because you know, because you know, in the four of cups and the seven of cups, the seven of cups has got a lot of stuff in there. But you know, it's, you got to be careful of what you choose. We could have somebody who is very self-indulgent, self and in, in, you know, self-consumed that they look at all these options instead of looking right what's in front of their face with the four of cups. You know, they could be ignoring something a good thing because they have too many options that they're looking at here. So they're so, they're aloof emotionally. They're aloof. So it puts an ending to something here with the death card. And we have the king of wands. Uh, yeah, somebody here took action. This could be male or female. Remember that, y'all. Somebody took action here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Did I say that already? This person is ready to take action. Now that, now that there was an ending here. Yeah, look, the tower. Definitely an ending here with the, with the death card, which is Major Arcana. Then we have the king of wands actually taking action to put this, you know, to end this. This is some action that's very swift and, you know, very out of the blue. What's it like this when I go on here? Very out of the blue. It happens, you know, suddenly, you know, the lovers get kicked out of the free, their uh, camp right here. Like, this could be a divorce for some people, you know, because we've seen, did we see justice or something? Oh, at the bottom of that, was it justice? I don't know. What the hell? I thought I saw justice. Some of y'all, I feel like somebody went to jail. You might have had to put somebody in jail for something. I don't know, but I'm just getting that. But you got, um, if you can see the two people falling to the ground, a couple just splitting up here rapidly, very suddenly. Somebody took action here with this King of Wands. Somebody left really, really fast and blew the whole, blew the mother up with the tower. Like, that's major ending. But it's ending for, uh, for someone who wants to start uh, building on a, a much better, firmer, a firm foundation. Because, you know, because the tower is about, you know, it's blowing and destroying things, upheaval, sudden uh, things that happen without notice. You know, it just happens, period. That's what the tower does. It takes on a sudden change unexpectedly. So that's what happened here. So the tower is... It's not a good card to have if, you know, when you're trying to um, move forward, you know, because we get opportunities to move forward at, at, for ourselves. But if a tower, so if we don't move forward for ourselves and use our own common knowledge and stuff, that's when the tower comes and just destroys it. And, but it sets you up for a new beginning to start on solid ground or, you know, whatever the situation may be that caused the tower. It causes you to able to, able to, to rebuild. You know, and it's going to take some time to heal when you run into the tower as well because the tower is very messy, as you can see. It's a messy situation right here. There's a lot of stuff. And it's almost like, you know, it's such a destruction that comes along. It happens so fast and suddenly that you're going to need a lot of time to recover from it when it's a tower. So y'all remember when situations come around to you and, um, and you know it's time to go, you know it's time to put an ending to something, or, you know, Papal places and things, it's best to move on for your own rather than the tower come in. Now, another thing I'm picking up on this energy here that's around me is that somebody put something to an end and somebody else just didn't want to end it. They try to come rushing back in or something like that, but that's when the tower happens. So it could be for collected for this person that maybe you went um, left, left behind. They may try to run. If somebody's in denial here of you leaving. I'm sorry about the, the table moving. I tried to put it on something solid with some rocks. <laughs> so sorry about that. So it caused, you know, um, a dramatic thing on their part. Because they didn't want this to end. Here we got the Five of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of cup cards I told y'all so far. 
So a lot of you are dealing with a, uh, a water sign or somebody has water in their chart or you can have water in your chart or it could be your sun, your sun sign, sun, moon, or rising sign. Whew. So with the five of cups, it's usually showing, you know, what there's three cups turned over and, wait a minute, five. Yeah, three cups turned over and two um, standing, but it's not in this deck, but I'm just saying. And the five of cups represents, you know, um, disappointment, okay? I guess so, after the freaking tower hits, I guess somebody is going to be disappointed, right? Somebody is going to be disappointed. You get that tower coming in, you ain't see it coming. Of course, people crying over spilt milk, like it's, it, whatever happened, it's over with collective. It's done and over with, and somebody's feeling some regret. You know, five of cups is about regret too. It's five of cups is about somebody being in their freaking emotions. They can't. It's a it's a low vibrational. It's like somebody's over emotional. They can't stop thinking about what happened. It's tearing them apart. They can't get it off their mind. They're just mauling and crying over this situation collectively. Excuse me if cars go by and people go by. If I'm home. For now, <laughs> I might catch y'all somewhere else and do a little video for you. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got the prin Prince of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Cancer, Pisces, um, Aquarius, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And then we got the Prince of Swords, is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Remember, these are energies, y'all. So this talks about some fiery, fast communication coming in real, real fast. There's a message. Somebody may be coming towards your way. You might be going towards somebody else's way. And it looks like it's this Prince of Swords. So it's actually the Page of Swords. So yeah, somebody's watching. Somebody's ready to come forward and they're ready to come forward really fast. Somebody done found out about this separation or this breakup or something like that. And now somebody wants to come in real quick. Somebody's been studying and watching this whole situation go down. What I believe, Holy Spirit, what's the messages you have for the collective today? Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? I'm breaking these things in. They're kind of sticky because of that gold that's on them. Okay, thank you, Spirit. <laughs> See what we got here. Sorry with the juggle. I'm trying to stop so it don't juggle the camera eight of pentacles and the three of wands eight of pentacles talks about somebody wanting to come and put some hard work in here really really fast they coming in really really fast uh, with, because they've been watching and observing i feel like somebody already been observing your whole situation here and, and, and pinpointing everything now they want to come in really fast um and they want to work with you with the eight of pentacles they want to put in a lot of work a lot of effort into this whatever it is they coming for for you okay and the three of wands here is like they coming okay somebody is coming here they got their mind made up they already done planned it out um and now they're moving on that energy now they moving forward moving coming towards you uh collective again sorry if the table moves a little bit like i said i'm outside and these what I got this thing on is not solid. So we got the the page of pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here. We got Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here at the for the eight of pentacles. Somebody putting in hard work. Somebody coming in very, very fast in a, a passionate way. And they're doing they already made their mind up. They're just waiting for the ships to come in and they're coming in if this is you. So we got the page of, of let's see here. A page of pentacles, somebody coming along to make a they're gonna make this offer, okay? It is coming offer. It's a small offer, a small gesture, something here. But nevertheless, it's an offer. Yeah, with the star card. Somebody, you know, wish wants to hopes has hopes and wishes. They want their hopes and wishes to come true. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius, or this could be happening to an Aquarius. Somebody, if you're an Aquarius out there. Um, somebody could be coming to you with a solid offer here very committed offer something It doesn't necessarily have to be Aquarius. You can have it in your chart The other person could be Aquarius and have it in their chart But being it's a, a major arcana, I'm gonna call it for what it truly is We got a Scorpio on the table an Aquarius on the table and we got an Aries on the table as far as the majors because the majors are the bottom line So that's why I always you know say whatever 
it could be possibly happening to the to you guys that may be of them signs or in your chart somewhere okay so we got the ace of pentacles Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. So, yeah, it's a brand new solid offer. All the Pentacles talks about what? Money, all right? Um, it talks about being stable because the Earth energy is very stable, very solid. You know, something dependable, something reliable because they, what? They're of Earth. Earth signs are very, very grounded. What they say is what they mean. What they do is what they're going to do, what they say they're going to do, at least if it's a high vibrational energy. And that's what I'm picking up here. A high vibrational earth sign. Coming in with a stable offer to a possible Aquarius, a possible um, Scorpio, and an Aries so far. Let's see. So we got this seven of wands. Somebody is, but somebody may be um, a, a blocked a little bit or feeling a little blocked or feeling like they have to protect themselves a little bit. Somebody's holding off a little bit in this situation. Yeah, somebody's definitely blocking themselves or holding their self back or putting up their guards. protecting themselves somebody here why though ten of swords um aquarius gemini or libra's energy y'all see these cards the ten of swords it talks about an ending somebody's guarding themselves because they you know probably i feel like maybe in the recent past or the past they dealt with this ending here there was an ending in the recent past or now now that this ending has has now it has ended for some of you guys out there permanently. Now new love is coming in here, right? If it hasn't happened yet, it's coming. And you guys are going to have to be pretty much ready. It's coming because this is all what spirit was waiting for, something. But we had somebody being slick was trying to stop someone from, from leaving. But spirit intervened with the tower and said, no, you ain't. You're not messing I keep telling y'all, you know, we're up for judgment season now. You know what I'm saying, good or bad. This looks like a good situation for some of y'all out there, but for some reason, because of the past, you had a harsh ending here or a hurtful ending here or very deceitful. Somebody could have backstabbed you at least 10 times behind your back, being deceptive behind your back, and kind of maybe left you for dead in your past. That's why you're putting up a... Um, that's why you're putting up your your defenses here against this person that's coming here that has true meaning for that have the true intentions for you um collective yeah somebody's coming here but you're blocking it spirit has shown it to you or will be showing it to you so don't worry about the past leave the past in the past don't let your past hinder your future you guys Take a little time and meditate and get over this. Work on yourself because something beautiful is coming in here. Something this this person next that's coming in, if they have it already, you guys leave it in the comments. It is something really beautiful. If it's not someone, if it's not a new person, I, I'm picking up it could be new and it could be old too because we have the death card. Somebody could have went through some type of transformation within themselves and turned and become a king or a queen. Now they're rushing back in because they've learned some lessons here. They transformed their life. I'm just saying now, you don't have to take this person back. I mean, or you don't even have to go by this fucking reading. But, you know, I'm just giving you what spirit is telling me for some of you. Yeah, they might, you know, be in regret with the five of wands here for what they've done. And want to come back in and offer a solid offer this time because they've been watching you with this page of swords where the fucking page of swords at it wasn't here yeah there's the page of swords and now they want to come forward fast some fast communication they want to rush back in here with the Asia eight of Pentacles saying they want they want to work it out with you they want to work on this situation with the three of wands and yeah they wanted to move forward sorry about this table again i hope it don't fall 
yeah they're coming in with the offer it's not big because it's a page or they I feel like the I feel like the off we got pages here we got kings and pages so this person may have turned into a king right I got so many scenarios y'all it's like it's it's freaking me out we got somebody coming back after a transformation after you know to come back and build something back that was torn apart between you two because that tower is two people coming out uh, exploded and everything's done went sour dead and it was a, an epiphany or awakening for somebody because in this in this one you can see the sun like it's it's ending for new beginnings again for a couple possibly somebody coming back possibly for some of you is somebody new because they're in regret of what happened so they're moving forward really really fast going to take you but the offer is small we got two pages then but then we got a king too So some of you, I feel like somebody's coming back and acting like they're a fucking king and acting like they, you know, transformed their self, telling you they went through the dark night of the soul and they different now and all that. And nevertheless, they coming back with they offering it. But when they watch you and all that stuff, spying on you, seeing what you're doing, taking notes and shit. Now they want to, and we went through that in the beginning. Now they want to rush back in. They see you doing really good or something. Or you know what I mean? They, they want to be a part of something here. And now they want to come here and like lay it on. I'm picking up some love bombing for some of y'all. I'm t picking up for some of y'all because you moved on or something. This person may, is might be just um, trying to be spiteful like a little damn ass kid. Uh, you know, want to have the last word. or want to have this, the last... Um, you know, like they hurting you or something. You done already done got over them. So what the fuck they wasting their time for? It's a waste of time and energy with this dumb fuck for some of y'all. For some of you, it is somebody who very well, you know, they did transform their life and want to come back. And for some of you, it's a new person. That's all I can tell you here. It really is. And a lot of you, I feel like it's somebody from the past because they. This is the ten of. This is why you're blocking them. You know, that's why you're safeguarding yourself from them. That's why you're shielding yourself from them because you know this person deceived you in the past. Okay, what about this ten of swords? Sorry, y'all. I just get many different scenarios coming through. So, the three of swords. Yeah, this person deceit and hurt you and shit. Three of swords. Ten of Swords, come on now. It's like the Three of Swords, they, you know, like they was playing around with your heart. Somebody was misusing, misusing your heart here, okay, with the Three of Swords. They sent you through some pain and agony in the past because they fucked up on you. You know, they backstabbed you with the Ten of, of Swords. And that's why you ain't opening the door to the bitch for some of you out there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got the hangman. Yeah, you um going to kind of hold off on this energy. It's like you kind of putting a stop to it. This is a major arcana, major event as well. So some of you are dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, that's the energy I got, and that's the overall energy. So it did match the overall energy. For some of you, it was you somebody was like had you in some kind of illusion playing around with your your mind and your heart they was playing games or something like that and you know um they kept giving you empty promises okay they really kept giving you empty promises leading you on so there was a death to the situation an ending to the situation So this person, it was a death with this king of wands or queen of wands that happened really, really fast. As soon as somebody looked like, as soon as somebody tried to run to you, something, spirit stopped them in their tracks and, you know, deadened it, ended, blew it up. Something blew up all of a sudden out of nowhere because there's two people going different ways, okay? And the five of cups, you know, made somebody feel some kind of way about it. Somebody got stopped in their tracks coming, trying to, because you may have went through transformation collective. And then this person trying to come back in, this king or queen of wands was, you know, all up in a hurry and they got stopped in their track with the tower. That was the most high. 
Like, no, you, no, you're not. No, 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 no. Now they're going through disappointment and heartbreak. So, with the Prince of Swords, now all they can do, they were spying on you. I'm just giving you a quick little recap. Spying on you and trying to come through really, really fast. You know, trying to say they're coming in. And with the Eight of Pentacles, that they want to work on the relationship and make it work. With the Three of Wands, yeah, again, they want to move forward. Tell you they want to move forward. So... <laughs> The page of uh, pentacles, somebody, you know, offering you a little something, something, hoping and wishing that you would take them back. Okay, the ace of pentacles and build a brand new solid relationship with you. Some of you in Aquarius. Some of you Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So moving on, you're you're guarding yourself. You don't trust this person, all right? Because they deceived, they, uh, they mistreated you hurt you in the past with the ten of swords and the three of swords cause you a lot of pain and heartache and that's what's putting a stop to this relationship with the hangman in revert i mean with the hangman here pisces energy it's putting somebody in you somebody's putting somebody you know in, in time now or suspended animation putting somebody on hold block something because somebody don't trust it and I don't blame you. Somebody is somebody from your past that done, you know, transformed their life actually and wants to come back and have a heart to heart conversation and let you know that they want to rebuild. They learn their lesson. Only y'all got to need to use your intuition to find out what this stuff is all about. You got to use your intuition to whatever situation or get yourself a personal private reading. So, oh, moving on. And moving on. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty. Let's see what's up. It's so nice out here under these trees. Let me break these bad boys in. I got two sets today coming in. Wow. Sorry about the jiggling. I forgot. Hard, so they come and they getting there, y'all. <laughs> they getting there. Wow. Oh. What the hell is they doing? to take that much down just to put that piece of string i'm sorry y'all just watching these people let's see what's going on here let's get see if we can pull some more energy for the collective spirit collective what any more energy or new energy coming or for another set possibly um just what is it that you want us to know basically spirit what, you, what else you want us to know what else you want me to, to send to the collective what else is it wake these bad boys up. They seem to be a little sleepy. Holy Spirit, what's the answer? What do you got here? That's not... This is just an intro card here. Put it over here with my intro card for my deck. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, ooh, we got the devil. These are some nice, beautiful ass cards. The only thing I don't like is that little print and how it's printed there. You can't hardly make it out. That's the only thing I got against it. Somebody made a beautiful deck, but they made a mistake. It gave you this fucked up looking printing on it. You can't hardly read shit. They, they've been better off just topping it off with some nice print at the bottom. But anyway, this is the devil here. So we got a couple here that's bind to, bound together, but it's in a, a devilish way. It's a low vibrational way. It's very, very toxic. Two, the, the these two here are the two of cups people. You know, somebody got together possibly, you know, through a sexual um, encounter. Somebody like sex and something that maybe was tying them to the devil here or any other type of, of toxic energy here but the the lovers are now in um some of some of you or something is now in a toxic relationship with the devil oh boy so so we got the queen of wands here it could be this queen of wands a 
Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo here. That's, that's, yeah, the Queen of Wands is somebody who's very fiery. Somebody who's very sexual, very looks really good and all that. You know, being that it's next here to the devil, this could be the energy of who. And it could be a king or queen now. Remember that we're just dealing with energies it, it, that has this low vibration and keeping somebody here. Um, bound and stuck to them uh, via sex or drugs or something, whatever it is that is, is an overindulgence in it and it's keeping this person chained and bound to this queen of wands or king of wands. It chained and bound to them for, for some type of bad habit. It's toxic. Whatever it is, is very, very toxic. So we got the king of cups, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, I'm seeing this here already that somebody... Wow, the Queen of Wands and the... oh, why did they give me two intro cards? Ah, some people just do too much, right? Or this is what I'm seeing here too. All right, let me show y'all this. <laughs> There's a somebody that uh, has toxic energy here. They want to keep somebody. Somebody wants to keep somebody's relationship. They want to be, you know, they're kind of toxic. So it could be two people here that we're talking about is what I'm seeing here. If somebody's trying to, um, somebody's already in a relationship. The bitch is toxic as hell. But they looking at, there's this queen of wands or this, and this king of cups here um, that this king is in love with. But there's another toxic energy around that's trying to pull the king and the queen apart from each other. It's a toxic person that's trying to pull. Oh, all right, don't get mad at me. Nothing shall prosper you come towards me. Nothing. I just send it back to sender and wish you the best because of whatever you do to people comes back to you. That's going to be up to my spirit guides and stuff for whatever happens. That's what y'all have to understand and realize. It's a spiritual warfare, so we got to fight spiritually. You got to let your ancestors look, go get them. Get them, get them, whoever the fuck it is, whether you know them or not, just say it. I rebuke you, all right? And nothing comes through you do will touch me. I, re I send it to sender with, you know, with love and light. All right, and then keep on living your, living your life. And don't go back to whoever trying to start the shit. All right, so... <laughs> So we got the Six of Swords, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. Yeah, somebody wants to move forward. Somebody want, wants to move forward with this king and queen, uh, this couple here. Somebody wants to move, take their love and move forward from this toxic energy here. Two people who are bound or somebody trying to bound or come in between a relationship here to keep these two apart. But there's, the, you know, spirit is like the Six of a source saying move away move away the two need to move away from this toxic ass energy it might be a Capricorn for some of you yeah I feel like somebody's talking to two people one, and maybe one of them they're trying to you know release their bound release yeah because somebody wants to win at all costs with the five of swords that is an Aquarius energy and it could be the person that's trying to keep you two apart here in this toxic, trying to keep some, trying to keep somebody away from you and bound and tied to themselves, but they're doing it in a very toxic way, in a very selfish way, in a way that they can, they don't care if they have to hurt anybody to do it. That's what they're going to do. This person is toxic as fuck. All right. And somebody here, the couple need to, you know, just move away from this situation because we do got a, 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 a ill ass person here trying to destroy it in any means necessary and I mean any means necessary it's time to move away from this person with the six of swords being here because they want to win at all costs they want to defeat you guys they want to defeat by interfering in y'all relationship and here with the seven of what is this oh the six what oh this is seven yeah that's the seven of cups again that came out for you guys seven of cups um, somebody's trying to keep somebody confused. See, this is what they're doing. Somebody's a, ma a manipulator here, and they're trying to confuse your your person. That's what they're doing because they want to win at all costs with this five of swords, the seven of um, the seven of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could be a drunk. They may come in while they you know have a a, a drunk um, 
in a drunken state a lot to your person and just like says or does whatever they want to do. They may try to come in and intoxicate your person too by alcohol and putting something in it. Your person need to uh, be aware of this this person who wants to win at all costs. See, they trying to win at all costs. And this person may be have, um, I'm hearing tendencies of, of narcissism. This person is really, really tough, like tough with manipulation, tough with people's emotions, using people's emotions, trying to put somebody in a, um, a la-la land. You know what I'm trying to say? Like telling this person this, telling they're going to do this and do that, but it's nothing. It's just, it's just all talk, emotional. This is an emotional vampire, an emotional manipulator. Be careful. And they uh, mental too. They know how to mess with your mental thing. Somebody here needs to be careful with somebody here. They somebody trying to win at all costs <laughs> because it, they know whoever it is, they know that this is your person. They're not the, there's a karmic here that wants all the attention from your person, all right? And she's going to do anything or he to, to win this person back. They're going to do anything. They're going to put this person in an illusion. They're going to fuck with their um uh, their emotions and they're going to fuck with their head on top of that. This person is just like this because they like to win at all costs. Let's see what's going on. What are the messages, spirit? It's all due to money. We've been getting this shit a lot. This person wants your person because they, you know, they rely on them for money or something or every time they ask them something, they give it to them or something like that. If your person's like this or whatever, they need to stop giving to this person because they're going to end up dry as hell this person gonna suck them dry that's why they don't want you around because you kind of disturbing their fucking groove collective collective divine masculine or collective divine femme they know you're very independent as well but this person wants money they want they, they they putting up dreams. Listen to this. They put they giving your person a whole lot of dreams and stuff to you know putting them in you know emotionally fucking them up, you know because they want to win at all costs and they're a narcissist. Spirit and already said to this person to leave, leave this bitch or whatever alone because they know this person going to you know do anything to win. And what they're, what they're, you know, and so they're going to put somebody in illusion. They may even do some type of magic on this person and um, cause this person, your person, to be single. They want to be single and want this person to give to them this karmic, this karmic energy. They just never stop, do they? I've been pretty cool, though, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, this is too many. It's on the bottom of this deck. The Knight of Swords. See, this person's gonna come in real erratic and panicky and, you know, talking a whole lot of shit to your person and, you know, just, this. Uh, mm, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles. Sorry about that, I thought it said Knight. But no, they, somebody need to slow their fucking roll. Somebody need to slow their roll with the, the, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving in the deck. Sorry about that. I thought it said swords. The Knight of is somebody who stops and um, they kind of focus and figure out stuff. It takes them a long time. But when they do come out of this energy, they know where they're going and what they're going to do. But it does take them a while to do so or to move forward. They got to think and maul and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Somebody's being very methodical. I also feel somebody here, if somebody don't make up their mind or something like that, or somebody's walking away because they're not going to be nobody's choice, somebody is not wanting to be uh, in this, whatever this situation is going on here. There's actually some lying and deceptive stuff going on here, to be honest with you. Too many. Holy Spirit, what are the messages you want me to bring? Any other messages here for the collective? What other messages? Ooh. Major, major heartbreak here. This is a third party situation we're talking about here. That somebody's moving, detaching themselves away from. Somebody's like, you know what? <laughs> I got it going on. What the fuck? 
do I need a third party for? That ain't me. You know, I ain't crazy. I ain't nobody throwing no delu illusions and try to win the fuck me at all costs. I don't give a damn. Uh-uh. I, I could do good all by my damn self. So I'm good. I, I have all everything I need. That's what somebody's saying here. And now somebody wants to be methodical, think they're going to move, you know, trying to think of how they're going to convince this single person here to come back to them. That's what I'm picking up. But I feel like this person, whoever's trying to come back, this earth sign, is going to get a heartbreak. They're going to get a heartbreak. They're going to get a rude fucking await. You can sit because it may be that they waited too long to try to approach this highly, highly independent person. Maybe they feel like they didn't deserve this person and maybe they don't. That's why their ass couldn't get up on their horse and move. They took too, too long. So all they're doing is walking into a heartbreak. See them walking into that heartbreak? See that? That's what they're coming because they come too fucking slow. All right? And I'm feeling like they're moving slow because they know they cause a heartache for this person by being in a third party or putting them in third party without their knowledge. It's different if people walking around, you know, oh, uh, let's, let's have an open relationship or we're just not in a relationship. We're friends with benefits or some shit like that. And let somebody else make up their mind if they want to be a part of it or not. You don't take it upon yourself and go behind somebody back and do some stupid ass shit like that. You just don't do it. That's selfishness. That's somebody being selfish and only thinking about their self and not worried about nobody else's feelings. So, fuck it. That's what I see. This is too many spirits. <laughs> Queen of Wands is trying to, I'm trying to hold her energy out the way she truly feels, you know? Because some of y'all get too offended and shit. Why I get offended over the truth? But some people do. Okay, let's get this card stuff here really gotta wake these up they just coming out of their packages let's see yeah ace of cups somebody you know somebody cancer pisces or scorpio somebody wants to give their heart to somebody here somebody's madly in love yeah somebody's madly in love okay yeah with this star card we had it in the first thing too it could be an aquarius a cancer pisces scorpio somebody could be in love with Somebody's hoping and wishing that they would, you know, reciprocate this love. Holy Spirit, what else? Hmm. Yeah, somebody wants this empress. This empress is the, you know, there's an empress and there's a, a, a fake person here. And they're trying to fake your person out, acting fake and all this. Like they got a lot of money. Like they got some shit to offer your person when all and all, all they don't. And I'm also seeing because this person walked away from the empress here, they got their heart fucked up. Okay. Or if they chose uh, this devil, could be a Capricorn energy, being stuck and bound to this uh, toxic person, they end up getting their heart broken if they broke your heart by this person hangman is in the upright because they somebody moved a little too fast here they didn't stop to think or see the situation so that brought on an ending with the death card and now somebody has reached the empress status they like moved away from this situation transformed their life and now they transform what they transformed into the emperor the empress where they took control back of their life from some toxic energy from some backstabber from some um somebody who wow Somebody, mm. somebody's trying to come forth though to this empress. Remember, the empress is the top dog or the emperor. From somebody trying to, um. okay, birdies. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo. I'm sorry, a Libra or a. A Gemini. No, a Libra or a Taurus. I'm getting Taurus energy. Yeah, it could have been a marriage for some of you. Somebody could have left a marriage with the death card and the Empress is usually a married woman as well. Somebody very committed, very um, focused. If they're married, they're very uh, committed to their relationship. And with the Hierophant, which is some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus. 
talks about marriage, talks about counseling, it talks about spirituality, it talks about maybe the most high coming in to somebody maybe getting spiritual uh, counseling or it's like I said a marriage for some of you. Okay, so we got the, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to come in with the offer. Somebody is very romantic here. A ro somebody wants to make a romantic offer. Possibly from somebody you were already married to or just somebody new. Yeah, somebody wants to romance someone here. And it could be possibly this person who may have chosen someone else and broke somebody's heart here. Now they got to change your heart. Talking about they got count, uh, counseling and everything. And now they want to come back and romance you. Possibly marriage. They want to ask marriage for some of you. But somebody's like, hell no, I ain't even looking at your damn cup. Like you gave me these three cups right here and they was empty. What the fuck should I believe a fourth cup is going to be full? But, you know, to the other person it is, it's just they've done it so many times. This person, this person right here that's sitting down contemplating, they're like, they're contemplating that cup. I say they turned it down all the way, but they're not looking at it right now. They're looking at these cups right here that's empty. Like, you know what? I'm thinking, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that you already offered me cups and you spilt them all every fucking time. And it caused a lot of heartbreak. So... Now somebody like, I don't know if I want to take your fucking fourth cup. Three fucking strikes, you're out, bitch. Let me see here. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's get this a major arcana here. Arcana, the moon. So we could be talking about a Pisces. Or a Scorpio, too, because there's always a scorpion here in the deck right here. Always. So I say... Pisces and Cancer. I mean, Pisces and Scorpio. So, yeah, this person's getting an alarm. Somebody here is, is using their intuition regarding this situation. You guys are using your intuition regarding this person coming back, talking about they changed and all of that. And now they want to bring you some uh, offer here, a romance and all that. You're like, right here, fuck that shit. You're contemplating. Your spidey senses is telling you. This, you know, is, is telling you. Go by what your your senses are telling you, because something is still hidden here with the moon being here. Something still ain't right. So you got to use your intuition. Your intuition is trying to tell you. You see them. You see that dog barking or howl, whatever wolf. You see that? And here comes the scorpion, like you know, trying to snap at somebody. You know, scorpions snap at you, right? They try to snap. So somebody's trying to tell somebody something here. Maybe you collected that. Yeah, there's something still hidden behind that fucking moon. And 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 it, it, you you hold off for a moment when the sun comes up because the sun is behind the moon. You it's going to be revealed. Whatever it is, it's going to be real revealed. But they're saying hold tight, hold tight because the truth is coming out. There's going to be truth and clarity here with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra's energy. You're going to get the truth and you're going to win. You're going to win if you just hold up and listen to your intuition. Because this person, I feel like, is coming back with some bullshit. For some of you. Let's see here. This fucker. Talking about they want to marry you. This is a big thing here. Somebody's putting their... But they're still... Y'all need to watch out because there's something still not right. You got to listen to your intuition. They're telling you. You can feel it. When you're in, when the moon comes up, your intuition be, you know, giving you all kind of like, what? And if you wait, you will have that victory. You'll have the truth. You'll see whatever is hidden. Whatever you see is spirit. I'm going to ask them, what the hell is going to be hidden? What the hell is coming out here? about somebody trying to come back at my collective with some bullshit. What is going to be coming out? What's the truth? Now, the truth could be the, them telling the truth, or the, it just depends. Holy Spirit, can you tell us what this Ace of Swords is? What is the truth that's coming out? First of all, let's do this, uh, this moon. What's hidden, though? What's hidden? Might as well say what's hidden and what's coming to the light, because whatever is hidden is coming to the light. So let's do both of them as one, as a team, because they're, like, they're working as a team here. Okay. Uh, happiness that's the truth 
somebody's like want to come out and tell you that you their wish fulfillment that's what they want to say that's the truth that somebody's been hiding their fucking emotions okay somebody's been hiding the way they've been feeling dumbasses for what I hope it was worth all this aggravation yes that's, that's what the truth that's what's hidden they've been hiding their fucking feelings they've been hiding the fact and hiding not telling you how they feel truly and they really truly you know love you it's like you're the one cup away from their happiness this is the nine of cups that's the, and that's the fucking truth i asked about both these cards what the hell is hidden spirit what is coming out what is the truth behind this moon what's what's going on and that's what they said the nine of cups you are this person's wish fulfillment period you are and they just been hiding it they've been hiding their emotions been hiding trying to show you how they feel been hiding the fact that they've been loving you been hiding the fact not even telling you they don't they didn't even never tell you they've been hiding it all this time I'm hearing the word they've been trying to make you jealous being with someone else and, and, and them in the fact playing that type of game caused them to get hooked up with the fucking devil and they, it was hard to get out of hell yeah yeah, this Knight of Wands, they've been, they, they, was, they got hooked up to some kind of wild pony, pony, some wild horse here and shit. Somebody who's all over the damn place. Somebody who was um, here, there, everywhere. Somebody who was non-committal, running in and running out of this person's life. That See? Trying to play games and stuff. This is what you get when you play games with people. You just be playing them with your damn self. Mm-hmm. And see, they had to move... Now they're trying to move forward to you with the chariot. Some of y'all talking to a Cancer. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got a lot. So somebody wants some victory with somebody here moving forward. Because they fucked up. What's this spirit? What is this uh, chariot? What's this chariot? We know that's a major. So it's a major... They, you know, and they got the crescent moon on both their shoulders and shit. You put them both together, that equals a full moon, right? So, this person did have secrets. They had a problem of dealing with their light side and dark side here. But it looks like they pulled their self together in order to move forward, to come forward to you. That's what it looked, yeah, to you, with love. Yep. With love. They're trying to move forward with you with love. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini. Um, let me see. Is that the cups? Is this? Okay, yeah. Two of cups. Yeah, they could have done better with this writing too up there. The Roman numerals. It's so fucking small. It looks like a one. The two of cups. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. True love. A divine con connection here. They know this is a divine connection, y'all. They know it. They know it now anyway. And they knew it then. It's just they kept it hidden. They kept their emotions hidden. They kept uh, how they f felt about you hidden. You know, all this time they was loving you, caring you. Maybe this person never felt this way before and got scared of it. That's what it looks like to me. They might have got scared of um, the way they were feeling. It may be something they didn't want to feel. All they were used to doing was playing around, you know, hitting it and quit it, hit it and quit it, run coming in, going out, stuff like that. That's what it looks like to me. And now this person is realizing being that they were tied to the devil here. And it was toxic. That really shined a light on who you truly was. The person that he tried to, that was hurting, using, abusing, backstabbing, all type of stuff here. Deceitful things. with somebody, And they was with somebody just like them doing the same thing to them. But did they deserve it? I don't know because... I think they were doing it out of maybe because they were doing it to make you jealous and that's not the way we're not kids here we're grown adults now that this person has had this experience now they realize they want to come to you with you know with true love with real love and tell you how they feel about you that you're the one for them with this and just reading, I don't feel like this person has no ill intent. So I think they made a, a wrong mistake or played the wrong game with the wrong person and they realized that. I feel like this person never did tell you that um, you were there as just, you know, for sexual reasons only. You were convenient for them. And then something ha happened, something happened along the road down and they felt like they caught feelings. But they were hiding it from you. They felt like, you know, they can keep this thing going the way it is without having to 
tell you how much they love you but the, I feel like there was a time of separation here and this person or whatever they went through here had to wake up and realize they got some kind of epiphany here that you know that you're they need to move and move fast towards you to get their two of cups here their wish fulfillment you're their one cup from their wish fulfillment here and spirit is saying that is the truth with the ace of swords that's what they've been hiding with the moon they've been hiding it like the moon they've been keeping it to themselves and I asked Spirit, what is they keeping? They keeping the Nine of Cups to themselves. They kept it to themselves this whole while. This person grown feelings and they didn't know how to handle it. Because they were always in and out, back and forth. Wanted to be a player type energy. Don't want to be attached to nobody. But let me tell you something. They got attached to the fucking devil and they didn't like that shit neither. So whatever they done to you had gotten done to them. That's all I see right now. Can we get a, uh, what's the outcome? What's the possible outcome, Spirit, with this situation? What's the possible outcome? What's the possible outcome? This is how this person was is feeling. What's the possible outcome is that somebody just want to make peace. Somebody going to use their head over heart, make a head over heart decision with the two of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And then they're going to make that decision. I'm going to still, with the with the two of cups it's going to be like do i stay or do i go somebody's indecisive here somebody don't know what the fuck they're going to do they don't know if they're going to stay or if they're going to go but if they make a decision it's going to be head over heart like they're going to they're going to leave their whole emotions out of this if they make a decision it's going to be a harsh decision when they make it too you know there are two cards two twos on the board y'all 22 may mean something to y'all look Somebody's going to be like, I don't know, but they're going to make a decision based on their uh, facts, based on facts and truth of what they know. And they're closing their heart up out of it. You see how she got her hand, her arms closer uh, to her chest? She's closed. She's blocking her heart chakras and her eyes is blindfolded. She don't want to she, she ain't going by no looks or no shit like that that she probably did in the past. But re after receiving this heartbreak, it woke this person up. Now she's going to make a clear decision when she decides to make a decision. When her decision is made. Let's see. Spirit is teasing us now. Spirit, what is going to be the outcome? I know somebody going to be indecisive. Not really saying much. Closing off their heart chakras and using their freaking brain. In this situation when it comes to making a choice. I know they're planning with the two. Pawning it over. Which direction they want to ch uh, take here. All right. Somebody's at their crossroads in this situation. See a spirit going to let us know. Holy Spirit, what's the possible outcome here? What's the possible outcome? What's the possible outcome? Hmm. Okay. So, this could go two ways here because we do have two twos on the board. Somebody's indecisive. They're going to make a head over heart decision. Whether they take the world and move forward or whether they just stay where they're at, okay? With their hand on this wand because something's not quite over with yet. I'm feeling this person is holding on to a decision that they have to make. They got a decision on what they want to do. And with this world card, for some of you, you're going to, you know, cross over. You're going to close the chapter to this whole situation here and move to a new chapter in your life. For some of you, this means this chapter is going to be an ending of all this heartbreak and all this bullshit people have been doing to one another. And they're going to finally come together and close this old chapter out and begin a brand new one. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, and it was uh, divinely guided here with the temperance card. Somebody could be talking to a Sagittarius. Some could be a Leo. It doesn't matter. World card, I always take that as a, a universal card. So it could be any damn sign. Yeah, it's, for, it's divinely guided whether somebody chooses to leave this whole situation and, and go out on their own and close out this whole cycle so it won't never come back together again. Or it's going to be where this person is going to decide to, to, to forget about the past and enter into this relationship all brand new and leave that other shit behind and it's going to start a whole new beginning between the couple both couples are going to leave shit behind and cross over to the 5d together and like i said it's spiritually whatever decision is being made here is going to be divinely guided anyway
Yeah. Because somebody feels, somebody feels like it's just been a lot of strife. It's probably going to be an ending to a lot of strife here, divinely guided. Whatever this strife, whatever y'all been going through with, uh, as together, this couple, it's, it's, it's going to be an ending to the strife, regardless of which way it goes from what I already told you. Can you give me the five of, of wands energy? What's the five of wands? Whatever conflict, whatever competition, whatever, whatever, divine is going to break all that up one way or another. Either somebody gets their act together and starts this relationship over and forget about the past, or just somebody's going to make the decision to just move forward divinely. Both energy is going to be divine. Got so, so there's so many people out there, it's hard to tell. You have to get your own personal private reading for that. Hmm. The fuck is this card? Perfected what? We? I don't know what the hell. That didn't fall out. I was just looking at it curiosity-wise. I got to look at the book and see what... I usually take the books out and throw them suckers away somewhere. Put them in the box. I don't even read them. No need to. Um, But I'm going to look at that and see what the fuck that means. Okay. Seven of Swords. Yes, yeah, divine, divine, the divine is stepping in on whatever is blocking. Look, I feel like the, for some of you, okay, this is another scenario. I feel like the divine is coming in and divinely guiding who's ever been through this strife and, and um cut, you know, cutthroat type of shit and deception, this deception. Somebody who's been causing all kind of playing games or rather trying to be sneaky. There's a sneaky person in here that the divine is protecting you from. For some of you as another outcome. Why am I being so damn nosy? Hmm. Could be an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in reverse here. Yeah, this person very sneaky and conniving and um, manipulative, manipulative, and they cause a lot of strife and damn competition. Their ass might be on. This person may be up for judgment. Whoever this is, they may be up for judgment because I feel like the divine came here and and and, and put a stop to this. Like a, it's like a. A soft ending. It's not really rough or nothing, but it's it's like somebody here is protected by the divine. Somebody's here protected and guided by the divine. Somebody here could be you be a divine being. You could be a um, empath, which is an empress or an emperor, and you're you're being safeguarded by your angels. They're blocking you from this person. They're blocking this person from you because they did a lot of, they're sneaky and underhand. It could, like I said, be a Virgo energy, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They try to win at all costs. They playing a lot of mind games. They, they playing a lot of mind games and they, you know, got other people in the mix here. For some of y'all, that's gonna be, you're being divinely led. You're being divinely protected. Rejection is, the most high's protection that's what's happening here yeah and you got the high priest is another major event here definitely being protected definitely um spirit is showing you things in your dreams through your intuition and a lot of y'all that are in past here you already know whatever the secrets are they're being exposed you're going to see this person being exposed for who they truly is right in front of your face. For some of you, I'm picking that up real heavy. And for some of you, this person, like I said, they just keep hold a lot of secrets. They keep a lot of stuff from you. But you're, it's going to be exposed. Or you just been sitting back quietly, quietly seeing what's going on. It's like you're moving in silence, y'all. I'm going to end this video in a minute. I'll come back with another video. I think I'm going to do y'all mid, mid months. I might do it live. It just depends on these people getting out of my house. The sun is coming out here. 
Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that, y'all, because I'm being nosy and all that. And I'll be back with y'all. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want live your live readings for mid-month or, or how you want that. If you want them grouped up or separated, let me know. And I can work with you guys. The sun is coming out right now. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch you back, okay? Love you. Bye.